it's, they are very competitive and they're very strong components if they meet the requirements by the business. And I should definitely emphasize that. Me, I chose Cisco because I worked at Cisco in the beginning of my networking career. Cisco is considered as as a true networking company that does not just routing and switching, but security, voice services, storage, service provider. They are a networking company. They don't focus with just security or just voice. They, they specialize with everything, which completes a very good, pretty picture for deploying a what we call a unified network. So listen here, so you want to figure out what, what is your vendor of choice. I know some colleagues like Juniper, some people like Foundry, some people like SonicWall. So for example, if you want to specialize with networking and you chose security, then between Cisco, Juniper, Fortinet, or SonicWall, which one you want to specialize in? So for me, I chose Cisco to, for specializing for routing and switching, security, and voice and unified communication products. Once you understand the vendor of choice that you want to specialize and go deep in, really becoming an expert with that product line, you will get involved with other products like Juniper and SonicWall. Then you start going down the certification track. Now there are certifications for SonicWall, for Juniper, and, and they have very similar structures. This is the certifications for Cisco since that was the path that I had chosen for my networking career to be specialized. There is a low level, which is for like junior, for junior network engineers at an entry level. And this is taking the CCNA or the CCDA. The CCDA is focused more with design and the CCNA is focused more with operational, with routing and switching, for example. Next, you've got the medium level, like a, like a mid-level, like a network engineer. And these are certifications such as CCMP. CCVP, the CCSP, and the CCDP. The CCNP, which is focused with operational, is more aimed for routing and switching. The VP is for voice, the SP is for security, and the DP is focused more with design. Then you have your, high, your highest certification for that particular vendor, which makes you, which is ideal for senior expert network engineers and this consists of the CCIE and the CCDE. The CCIE is focused more on the operational side that has um, other concentrations that you can certify in, like a CCIE for routing and switching, which is the most common one among CCIEs. There's one for security, one for voice, one for service provider, one for storage. Those may have changed since I've done this video. So for me, I started out that I first I first went for my CCNA. I got my CCNA when I was working back at Cisco. It's just a single test. Once I did that, then I started working on my CCMP because I wanted to move up. I wanted to be a network engineer. And CCMP, if I am correct, is like five or six tests. And that's like there's uh, there's a test on routing and switching and troubleshooting. It's a very comprehensive test. Once I finished that, I wanted to take the next step and wanted to become a senior network engineer. And that's when I pursued my CCIE and routing and switching back in 2001. So this is the path of understanding the certifications, the low, medium, and high for that particular vendor and pursuing it from low, medium, and high. And, I, and that gives you a very good understanding of the concepts and gives you a good understanding of what is necessary. Some awareness points. These are a few things that I talk about with people just to kind of be aware during your process of becoming a network engineer. Rule number one, find out if it's even possible for you to move up within your company. For some places, you, might, it, you probably cannot move up within your company. It could be related to your reputation. It could be related to if it's the right environment. Here's what I mean by that. If you talk to your boss, you know, tomorrow, if it's, a, if it's a working day for you, and you talk to him, you say, you know, hi, sir, or hi, ma'am, I want to talk to you about my, about my career, my, about my professional career. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and the path that I want to do is I want to become a network engineer. I'm making the efforts of preparing myself for taking these right um, certifications of the CCNA, and then so forth. 
I am getting the necessary stuff for labs and training. I am talking to the networking people. You're talking to your manager about what your intentions are. You will very clearly know if you can move up or if you don't. It all depends on how your management supports you on your decision. So you want to quickly figure that out. And my recommendation is, if it's not the right environment, okay, take note of that. Maybe it will change with management. Managers change all the time. And if that's the case, just keep that as a mental note, but continue to keep your skills and your path, keep it more robust, keep learning, and the other things that we'll be recommending here in this video. The other thing we're going to talk about in separate uh, separate slides. The first one is personalities. The other is resume and interview tips.